Hey everyone, today we're doing a review and a field test for the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 with a special focus on the wireless mic test. As a reminder, we make our money through advertisements, so don't skip them. And if you want to buy this product, click on our affiliate link and we'll make a small commission for that. We also released some new products on our merch store at shop.helpcloud.com, some new sweaters and a sticker that we're really excited about. Just to explain the outline of this video a little bit, you'll be seeing B-roll basically the whole time. I'll be showing you footage that I recorded with the Osmo Pocket 2. I'm going to go over some initial thoughts as well as going over the Osmo Pocket 2 versus the Osmo Pocket. Pros and cons in my opinion of the Osmo Pocket 2 and I'll be showing you some short clips from each mode. We'll also do a wireless mic test and then a the wireless mic test versus the inbuilt mics and then we'll have our final thoughts don't forget to subscribe comment like hit the notification bell anything to interact with our video that's how youtube knows that our videos do well and that's how we continue to make our money Here you see the differences between the Osmo Pocket 2 and the Osmo Pocket. Some key things that I really picked up on in the upgrade was the wider angle. Here you can see in slow-mo that you get much more of a wide angle than you had previously with the Osmo Pocket. Some other stuff that you also get is a better autofocus system, more microphones which definitely came into play and did really well, and the ability to shoot higher quality photos and videos. All of this stuff um, definitely is different from the Osmo Pocket. There are more differences and I'll include a good link for that in the description. Let's go over the major pros and cons of the Osmo Pocket 2. Go over the cons first and save the pros, the best for last. The major cons that I found was one, the power button is exposed. It's not covered by the carrying case. I did hit it a couple times and turn it on on accident a couple times. I also think that the external case is great and very protective, but it should have more of a grippy material to it. That's for when I'm carrying it outside or setting it down on rocks with the slant on it. And when I was doing that in the field test, it just kind of slipped off the rocks. So I had to really make sure it was set. The drop aware feature is nice, I guess, but every time I took a mellow jump or absorbed a feature in the park with it too much, it locked. And so it's really easy to unlock. You just tap the screen. Regardless, I know that this camera should be mainly used stationary when I'm filming some friends in the park. I was very excited about the zoom, but I wasn't too impressed with it. The movement of the zoom is really fast and the footage isn't nearly as great as when you're not using zoom. Now let's talk about some of the pros. This Osmo Pocket 2 works with the Osmo Pocket's extension rod. That was great continuity. The new wrist strap is also really simple, but it's sweet. I film while skiing at high speeds where I'm hiking and I need to look at my footing. Having that around my wrist gave me great peace of mind. I also love that the base can be swapped out and that you have multiple uses there now, like mounting the tripod or using the do-it-all handle, which is pretty awesome. And the time-lapse, motion-lapse, especially motion-lapse, and the hyper-lapse are great modes, and the new slow-mo with the wider lens angle is really great as well. Protective case is sweet. Um, you can have different handles or a base on it while still having it protected, and it's really easy to remove the camera and grip. Again, the only con was that it wasn't grippy enough. For the next minute, just enjoy some footage, enjoy the music, and then after that, we'll roll into our wireless microphone and inbuilt microphone test. Boy. Right. 
This is a test of the microphones while I'm walking. Just snowed. And FYI, I have the do it all handle attached right now. It's nice because it extends it a little bit. It's a little bit bulky, but it still fits into the case, no problem. And your lens is protected. Today we're gonna test the wireless microphone. See how that is. In the meantime, check this area out. So this video, it's gonna be a test of the range of the mic. Gonna see how far I can walk. Hopefully it's working right now. Um, yeah, see how far, how much distance I can get, because I'd like to in the winter set this up kind of far from the jump in the backcountry and see if I can keep the mic connected to the video, keep the mic on the skier. So let's see how it works. I'm freaking stoked because, yeah, I'll be able to do a lot of stuff in the backcountry with my buds. Get a lot of cool shots with a mic for pretty cheap, you know, not a super professional crazy setup like some people have. Okay. So. I just turned it back off, on and off, and Mike said that it had it's still at 75% after all that, and an estimated 270 minutes left. So if that's accurate, that is longer than the battery life on the Osmo. So as long as they both last, as long as the other, then that's great. Good job, DGI. Oh, Francis. Okay, over and out. So. So now what I'm gonna do is a the wireless mic test with it while I'm walking, talking, kind of vlogging like this. See what it sounds like. Now you can see it right here. And I also have to have the do-it-all handle if I want this to work. So that's the extra weight, extra stuff. Um, but if this sounds good, then it might be worth it. Okay, now we do the test of just the pocket while I'm holding it, you know, walking, no extra mic. See how that sounds. See how it sounds with the rest of the environment too, right? Might sound better overall without the mic, but if I want to talk a lot, then maybe bring the mic. And since I don't talk a lot when I film, probably won't use the mic, but that's just me. And this is what it sounds like when I flip it around. I'm still wearing the mic, but it's not on. Anyway, this hike's too beautiful. I'm gonna focus on it the rest of the time here. and Stop filming. So my takeaway for the microphone is that the wireless microphone is pretty awesome and it has a great range. In fact, I think it has more range than you need. The battery on it is great. The sound on it is great. The microphones on the device are good too. And when taking it out, I would just suggest using the regular microphones for hiking, stuff like that, because the mics do pick up all the sound more than just vocals, picks up birds, wind, just stuff you want to hear when you're hiking out and about outside. But if you want to focus on just the vocals during the video, then I would definitely take out the wireless mic. So my final thoughts on the Osmo Pocket 2 is that it's a great second iteration of the device. I love the improvements to video and photo quality and the improvements with the microphones as well as adding the wireless mic which is a game changer for some people. Slow-mo is so much better, wider angle makes a huge difference, hyperlapse is better and they kept a lot of the great stuff from the original Osmo Pocket like great motion lapse, great stability, and the device remains compact and very portable. So to me, it's very much worth the upgrade. If you made it to the end of the video, again, please subscribe, comment, like, anything like that. It helps YouTube know that we are doing a good job and it helps keep our channel going. Thank you. And have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, guys.